Well, we're back in the kitchen again here with your host, Kevin Moe. And I have with me today our special guest. That's plural, special guest. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, my wife, Robbie Brooks, <laughs> and our very special guest, Kim Durden James. And Kim is a doula and lactation consultant. So I brought in some more female energy, hence my wife to kind of help with that because me talking about lactation is kind of like, mm. I can talk about it, but maybe there's people that can talk about it a little better. So here I'd like to just introduce Kim Durden James and Robbie Brooks Moore. Okay, Kim, I'll take it from you here. You take it from here? Yes. Hey. So since um, I said a baby not too long ago, so I, heard. I know a little. You heard? That's right. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Who's the dad? Thank you. Well, <laughs> is it a secret? <laughs> no, it's not. If you see him, he looks exactly like him. Just a shorter version. Can't get out of it. Okay, good. But I've been learning a lot lately about um, what happens when you have a baby and when mm. you're pregnant, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you are a doula, and yes. I think a lot of people don't know what a doula is. So can mm. you explain to everybody what a doula does? Okay. Well, a doula is, well, the translation is a woman slave, and I don't technically really like the slave part, but <laughs> basically it's a, it's a servant for a woman, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's a woman who will um, come to a woman's birth and just kind of do whatever she wants, you know, um, and she also works with dad, so dad's not left out. She kind of just kind of keeps the, nice. the energy cool in the, in the space good. so mom can relax. There's something about women being at birth, at birth with another woman or a woman giving birth. Sometimes they really just need a woman presence there. But the dads sometimes need that woman presence there, too. So that's what I do and um, as a doula. Um, sometimes doulas work after the mom has had the baby and they come and help the family. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys had like and a, a postpartum yes, post doula. doula. We had a yeah. doula come in and help us. It was very, very helpful, I gotta say. We didn't know what a doula was before we had our baby. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was really a great thing. So it's, it's great to have you here to enlighten maybe people who don't know what a yes. doula is. And, uh, yeah. we, we only knew about nannies and au pairs. And <laughs> that's, that. that's a good point that you raised because mm -hmm. a lot of people think like a doula is a baby nurse mm -hmm. or a doula comes to take care of the baby but the difference in her job is that she comes to take care of the, the mom the dad mm -hmm. so that you guys can take care of the baby because of course mm -hmm. you know yes what's the biggest thing that happens after you have that baby what what is lacking sleep sleep and that's the number <laughs> yes. one thing that yeah. gets parents we are lucky we've gotten more sleep than i think you know we were yeah. intending to get yeah we have been, we have a very good baby Awesome. Yeah. So, but I felt like with the postpartum doula, mm -hmm. it was such a help because she just came in and anticipated what my needs were exactly. and just took care of us. And it was really a wonderful, wonderful thing. Exactly. Also, um, what you do as a, as a lactation consultant, um, mm -hmm. that was huge for me too mm -hmm. as a breastfeeding mom. Mm -hmm. Can you explain why it's important for, for women to breastfeed? Oh, wow. Well, that would take <laughs> a long, 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 long time. But, um, you know, a lot of times we like to talk about that breastfeeding is so great, it's the best, and everyone knows that, but a lot of times people don't realize that there are a lot of risks involved if you don't give your breast milk to your baby, your milk, because it's human milk and it's made for a human baby. So mm -hmm. a lot of the artificial milks we have out there, they just, they're in no way compare. So what, by breastfeeding your baby, not only are you giving them the best milk, they're, they, they're healthy, studies show that their IQ is optimum, they're, um, nutritional needs are met through the breast milk, but mom's body gets protected from things like premenopausal breast cancer, ovarian cancer, um, some uterine cancers, osteoporosis. Um, you know, all those wonderful things happen for you too. And then the cool thing is you get like this incredible bonding piece. See, she's starting to cry because she's thinking about it. I can tell. She's thinking about breastfeeding her baby and she's like, oh, it's so touching because it really is. And the cool thing is that you don't get left out. Do you feel left out? No, 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 not at all. Yeah, that's the right answer. Just, just a little. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm Wait. in training. You're in training. I'm in, I'm in training. I'm being trained right now. Oh, <laughs> let's wow. go. Let's go back to um, giving birth. Yeah. Because this is something that it was really important to me to do a natural birth, mm, um, and I did, mm. and I did not realize I was like a rock star in the hospital. <laughs> so, and not to brag at all, it's just that. Why, why is that that natural birth is not as common anymore mm. and what's the, what's the benefit of not taking any drugs when you're giving birth? Like natural birth is not so common because we kind of got we kind of got sold on a thing of like not having drugs to relieve the pain. It's like you're right mm -hmm. to not feel the pain. And women hear horror stories when they're pregnant. You know, people want to say, you know, 
share their labor stories and they and they embellish it and make it seem like oh god it was horrible also we see so much tv where you know women in labor look you know out of their minds the pain is unbearable it comes on right away and you know we see the tv labors and we get scared and we're not seeing natural birth you know we're not seeing our mom having the baby or you know or auntie or something like that in a natural way so it, it, it looks really like wonderful to get the drugs so you don't have to feel the pain. And we're not talking about the benefit and the value of that pain because it's a, it's a good pain. When your mom is getting the drugs to relieve her pain, um, the baby gets some of that too. Mm -hmm. And depending on how long mom is needing the painkiller, you know, the longer it's in her, the more it's getting to the baby. So what happens a lot of times, babies, once they're born, if they've had, moms have had a lot of medication, they could have a little problems little sleepy, hard time getting started, hard time breastfeeding. They, you know, we kind of have to, you know, they don't come out just ready to go. Right. And we, what you see with natural birth was most babies come out with nat at, at, out of natural birth just, just so awake and, and just ready to feed, ready to breastfeed, mm -hmm. alert, peaceful. It's really amazing. So it's a less traumatic experience for the baby. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'm not saying that all labor drugs are bad because sometimes right. there's a need for them and right. sometimes Absolutely. there's a use for them. You know, with my first child, I had a C-section, right. but my other four were born naturally and three of which were born at home. Wow. So, you know, it's, you can do a lot. Women are amazing. And, and, and C-section, I think, is important if you have to have one. But right. if you don't have to have one, mm -hmm. don't have one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. This has been great. It's been great, and there's much more information. We obviously, we don't have all that much time, but if you want more information, you can go, and where can we get this information at, uh, Kim? The Crohn's Kitchen is my new blog, and it's at uh, T-H-E-C-R-O-N-E-S Kitchen, the Crohn's Kitchen at blogspot.com. So check me out there. You have to come back and see us sometime. I would love to. Yeah, come back, babysit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get right. my 16-year-old to do that. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. We'll be back.